Hi, I'm Eric. Do you know what the highest speed of badminton is? You may not believe it because the world record of the smash speed is faster than a high speed rail train. Whose maximum speed is about 300 kilometers per hour. And the record was met by a Malaysia player who broke the world record by the smash speed of 421 kilometers per hour. It is very amazing that a ball made of feather and cold is able to reach such high speed. And now I'm going to tell you some information about playing badminton. Before you go to the court, you need to prepare some indispensable stuff. First of all, you will need a pair of badminton shoes and, of course, a racket. And what's more important is a few shackles. And don't forget to to wear a sweater because they will affect your feeling and mood when you are playing badminton. Finally, when you are all set and are about to start, don't forget to do a warm-up so that you won't get injured. Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay, first of all, you will need to know how to hold a racket. Basically, there are two ways to hold it. The first one is forehand position. You need to align this surface between your thumb and your index finger like this. See that? And you hold it like this when you are attacking. And the other way is backhand position. When you are defensing, you need to use your thumb to press on this side. Holding a racket is quite important because it will affect the quality of the shuttles that you hit. When hitting the shuttles, there's one thing that you need to keep in mind always, which is to make a use of your wrist. Secondly, I will show you some basic type of techniques. The first type is the easiest one that we call high clear. It is a defensive technique which you hit the shuttles far and high. You hit the shuttles ahead of your head. Like this. And make sure that your arm is straight when you hit the ball. And when you almost touch the shadow, you put your record like this. <coughs> then the next type is similar to high clear, we call it cut. In the same way, you hit the shuttle at a high spot, and your arm is straight too. But what's the main difference? The difference is that you need to bend your arm, bend your arm like this. Then what will happen? If the shuttle will drop down slowly in the front court of your opponent. This is an attacking technique which often shows up. The next type is drop shot. This is also an attacking technique. You can hold it either forehand, forehand and backhand position. You just hold your racket in this position and move toward. Remember not to use your whole arm, but your wrist arm to control the racket. All the, all the position of the shuttle will be too high. This is the forehand position, and this is backhand. And here comes the last type that is also very common. It is cement. You hit a shuttle when it is above and ahead of you. You not only use your arm and wrist, but also your waist. And then you exert all your strength so that you, you, the quality of the ball will be heavy and fast. 
it would kind of land itself. Okay, finally, let's review what we have learned today. First of all, back and forehand position. And then it's high clear. And cut. Remember to bend your wrist. And the third one is drop shot. And the final, finally, the last one is smacks. And there's an important tip of playing badminton, which is that you need to constantly play with people who have more advanced technique than you. And soon, you will realize that the weakness of yourself, and you must learn something from your opponent. Plus, with good equipment and good opponent, you will truly fall in love with playing badminton. And I hope you like it. Thank you.